come on in to our kitchen. Hi, Sherry. Hi. What are you doing? I'm in here fixing supper. What is this going to be? This is going to be your old-fashioned basic meatloaf. Meatloaf! With a little twist on the topping. Okay. But it's basically your old-fashioned meatloaf. Uh, so this is a great recipe for any time you have some extra hamburger meat mm -hmm. and you're like, what am I going to do with it? Because we uh, grilled hamburgers yesterday, so we had, I want to say about two pounds of meat left. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, let's do a meatloaf. Let's do a meatloaf. Can't go wrong with a meatloaf. Nope. Now, I cheat and mix everything up in my mixer. Um, so if you have one of those, that is a great way to mix, make sure everything gets mixed really good. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to have to do it with your hands, okay. which is fine, but I just like to use my mixer. So I got everything together. I know it looks like a lot. Coke ain't going to go. That's for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but let's get started. Let me get something to... Oh, also, do you need... The onions are sitting over there. Yeah. We did go ahead and saute our onions ahead of time, but if you don't... I mean, if you like onions, you can put them in raw. So one thing I do while I'm mixing everything is go ahead and turn your oven to preheat on 400. I'm trying to mix up some of the meat here. That is not going to do it. Make it a little easier on the mixer there. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of oven, we just did a repair on it and put a new heating element in it. I know. I wish we had uh, filmed that for you. Yeah. That heating element, what did we figure? It lasted 17 years in that oven. Yeah. So, uh, apparently when you go to Lowe's now, they don't sell parts at the store. You have to order them online or call. And they're insanely, stupidly expensive. $150 they want it. For a heating element. So, yeah. shop local. Don't buy that garbage. So, anyway. yeah, I think they're trying to get you to get intimidated and buy you a new stove, which I thought for a second. But then I said, no, let's check around. So, please, check around and... They're easy to fix. So the first thing we're going to do is start adding um, some breadcrumbs. I have panko, any type of breadcrumbs, even light bread. That's the old way. They just tear up your light bread and put it in there. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to use this. Now we like ours on the dry side because we um, make sandwiches. If you like yours more moist, then use less breadcrumbs. All right, let's see here. I do like to beat mm. the eggs up a little bit. If you have one pound of hamburger meat, then maybe one egg. But where I have two, it's a little heavy. I'm going to do two eggs. That helps bind it also. Let's go ahead and beat it up a little bit. One egg. Like I said, I'm going heavy since I had a lot of meat. And plus, doing it this way is a good way to be cautious in case you ever get a bad egg. True. Which you don't want to do in the middle of a... Or a shell. That's the worst. True. Trying to fish out a shell. True. But yeah, if you've got a bad egg, bad egg in here, you have to throw everything away. And that would not be awesome. No. But meat's expensive. <laughs> yes. Do you want me to grab your onions and put them in? Or? Not yet. Okay. That'd be last because they're hot. I just love seeing a meatloaf come together. So, normally I just like toss everything, so I'm trying to measure a little bit today. Koreans. So now I start kind of adding some spices. So I got onion powder. Let's start with. We like to go heavy. Even though I have onion, I'm still going to add a little bit more onion powder. I did a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some garlic powder. Teaspoon, teaspoon of that. Okay. Uh, pepper. Do about half a teaspoon. Yeah, do half a teaspoon of that. Salt, let's see. Teaspoon? Yeah, teaspoon. A little shy on teaspoon, but uh, Italian season. 
I just wanted to shook it. Let's see here. I guess we'll do a teaspoon. I like to take my dry herbs and mash them up a little bit. Kind of releases their flavor a little bit better. And make them smaller. We also have that uh, mortar and pestle we sometimes will do that with. Yeah. See, now you can smell that Italian season. I do smell it. Uh, let's see. Now, I do like to add some Worcester sauce. I go heavy on this. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go. And we, we do like that Worcester shirt. Uh, we keep a lot of that here, don't we? Yeah. It goes in a lot of good recipes. So I did about four heavy teaspoons. And a splash. Like I said, I go heavy on that. Now, uh, let's see. Might need that. So the, now, in the recipe, you can either use ketchup, tomato soup. I use that a lot is if I had a can of Campbell's tomato soup. I don't. So I'm using my ketchup. Tomato sauce. Anything tomato we eat. Mm -hmm. Um... Yes, I'll measure this one too. Do you know how much you usually put? Well, a can. How much is a can? Of ketchup? No, a can of tomato sauce. <coughs> or tomato soup. Uh, what was that? Eight ounces? But ketchup would yeah. be more concentrated, I guess. Well, the good news is if I get too much out, I can use it for the toffee. True. Which I'm going to stop there. Alright, let's see. I think we got everything. For the meat mm -hmm. mixture. Don't get your onions. Oh yeah, onions. I did. I already forgot. <clears throat> now, if you like green pepper, you could put that in there. Um, raw onions. We like the taste of a sautéed onion, so we do that instead. Especially if you have kids that don't like onions, we recommend you sauté them. They'll never know it. Yeah. And this onion is sautéed up very good. It's super dark. It's gonna be tasty. Because you think, even though it's going in the oven at 400, basically an hour, you don't cook up that much. No, if you don't saute those onions, they'll still be crunchy, won't they? Yeah. All right, so this is why I use the mixer. I let it do all the dirty work. I'll just get a swatch it. This is where I can decide if I need to add more breadcrumbs or ketchup or anything. It's looking like a good mix. Yeah. Well, that smells good coming together. Oh, yeah, I can tell with of it. And once it's mixed, good. That's all you got to do. So now what I do is I just use a baking sheet. I've learned to make it, uh, how would you say, like a bed and bigger. Oh, oh, okay. So that way, instead of a loaf, because a loaf takes longer to bake, and I would never get the inside as done as mm. I would like. So I've learned to do it this way. And plus, well, the thin one like we're fixing, it cooks up better, but where we like to cut it kind of thin and make sandwiches yeah, with true. it. you don't need a big fat meatloaf if someone wants more meatloaf just give them another thin slice and then i put a uh, light bread down because it does help absorb some of the grease that's going to come out mm -hmm. depending on what kind of meat you're using um and that way again your meatloaf is not sitting there soaking in grease true so i kind of go ahead and start trying to make it a loaf in here make oh, it easier to manage super good I want. Oh man. And then you just kind of mash it to the thickness or shape that you want. Again, we kind of like it thinner because it gets done more. And then I kind of make a little well here in the middle to help put some more of the topping in mm -hmm. it. Kind of holds it so it don't run off when it gets hot. Well, oven preheated. Elephant's working. 
Yeah, I wish I, I wish I would have filmed that. Uh, I, I never would have. Well, I thought about it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, our first heating element lasted, uh, what did we say, 17 years? Yeah. So, hopefully, this oven will last another, uh, I hope, 10 or 15 years, but I don't think that's realistic. But we'll see. We're just waiting on Sherry. Try and get that meat peeling off your hands after you use your all meat. I know, it's a rough feeling. It's like it takes forever to wash it off. So this is going to be your topping. Mm -hmm. So, I'd say, let's go a little heavier. It's going to be, what, a half a cup when you... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get there you out. Go. We like a lot of toffee. Another bowl here. It's a good thing the maid's coming shortly to wash these dishes. Yeah. I tell you what, I've been trying to do dishes daily and it seems like there's more dishes than ever. I know. I'll wash these when we're done though. Alright, so we have that. Mm -hmm. It's about a half a cup. Mm -hmm. Have your ketchup. You're gonna have your mustard. Brown sugar. Ain't that just delicious? It's gonna be pretty good. So let's see. Recommend you to start small with the mustard because if you get too much mustard, you're gonna have to end up adding a crap load of brown sugar to offset that tanginess. Yeah. We're, we're not huge mustard fans, so we don't go. So I'm not going heavy like I did last time. Because I think I used like a cup or more of brown sugar by the end. Oh my gosh. So then you're going to add your brown sugar. Um, let's do maybe this way. So that was two tablespoons, and this is going to be really uh, something that you're just going to do to taste. How sweet do you like yours? If not, just put straight uh, ketchup on there. Yeah, okay. straight ketchup is really good too, but... Yeah, that's just your old-fashioned basic, it's just straight ketchup. You'll put some on at the beginning, and then about uh, halfway through I'll add a little bit more. So again, you're just going to taste it. Mm, so I'm gonna go with a Do a heavy tablespoon. Oh, two more. We liked it really sweet last yeah, time. Yeah, we did we like it sweet. That'd probably be sweet enough, I guess, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'll see. This is now it's starting to look like that barbecue y mm -hmm. flavor. I do like a, a meatloaf. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things. Of course, I have so many favorites. But. So, this is just your basic Oof, looks meatloaf good. here. Let me stick it in the oven. So, now we're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to do 30 minutes because that's going to let me know I need to put the rest of my topping on. Yeah. And then probably go for another 30 minutes. Okay. You want me to do it or are you doing it? I can. Do okay. It. Let's go to the new oven. Fish. <laughs> new. Oh, and it took an opportunity to clean my oven while it was. Uh, uh, there. Let's 
Watch your elbows. All right. So I'm gonna set it for 30 to remind me to put my topping on. Sweet deal. So we'll be back. Bye bye. Bye. Hello. Hey. Look at this meatloaf. Woo. Look at that deliciousness. So it's been going for an hour on 400. We're just going to temperature it. Make sure it's done. Here we have that in all the. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we're well done. That's good. What it come up to, so the folks know. One eighty. All right. So. We're gonna let it rest. Yep, we're gonna let it rest and put some foil over it to keep it warm while but, we uh, uh, work on the potatoes. That's your delicious meatloaf. And when you go to eat it, you can leave it on the bread or pull it up off of it, but uh, that's it. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. So if y'all like this video, make sure to uh, give us a thumbs up. Comment if you've got any recipes, suggestions on your uh, meatloaf recipes. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't, please go up there and subscribe. We appreciate all of our subscribers subscribers and hope y'all like this video. Bye-bye. Right. I'm going to barely tin it like that. Is that okay? Yep, looks good. All right.